So what is a terpene? Terpenes are just medicinal compounds found in many plants, including cannabis, and they're present in THC and CBD oils too. There are many different terpenes, each with different medicinal benefits. I'm Dale Hewitt, founder of New Phase Blends, and today we'll go over some of the more common CBD terpenes within CBD products and go over why they might benefit your health. So what exactly are terpenes? People eat foods that contain terpenes every day. You drink drinks that contain them, they're everywhere. Many citrus fruits and vegetables get their smell and taste from the terpenes they contain. The smell of pine, marijuana, lavender, orange peels, even some bugs emit smells. Those come from terpenes. Like many other plant compounds, terpenes are there to protect plants from bacteria and predators. To humans, terpenes are more medicinal and can treat many conditions. Terpenes are not specific to the cannabis plant. They are found in many different plant species and even some bugs. They're primarily used as a defense mechanism from herbivores. Ever noticed how some plants or some bugs just have a horrible smell? Well, that's the terpenes at work. While we are still in the early stages of learning about terpenes and how they can help people, there is a lot of evidence that they can treat many different health problems. So not everyone experiences the effects of cannabis by simply smoking it. Many people use edibles or oils instead. Not all CBD products contain terpenes either. You have to buy products with full spectrum or broad spectrum CBD extracts to get the benefits of terpenes. It's not going to be in any isolates. Does cannabis contain terpenes, and if so, how many? That's another popular question. Yes, you can find these compounds within the cannabis plant. You can benefit from terpenes no matter how you consume the cannabis. Remember, cannabis encompasses both hemp and marijuana. Some people, when they hear cannabis, they just think it's marijuana. That's, that's not the case. The marijuana that you smoke always contains terpenes. A lot of the time, vaporizer liquid and edibles contain terpenes too. It just depends how they were extracted. Terpenes have a therapeutic effect regardless of how you consume them. And not all THC or CBD products contain terpenes either. Sometimes the edibles or tinctures you buy, they won't have any in them. Again, it depends on the type of extraction. If you're using CBD for medicinal purposes, it may not work very well without enough terpenes present, interestingly enough. Let's talk about full spectrum CBD versus CBD isolate. Full spectrum CBD oil contains terpenes. CBD isolate only contains the cannabinoid CBD and does not include terpenes or other cannabinoids. While some people benefit from taking uh, oils that only contain CBD, others need full spectrum oils. It depends on whether your problem is treated by terpenes or by CBD alone. Full spectrum CBD oil has other advantages besides terpenes. Cannabis strains contain many different cannabinoids, with CBD only being one of the roughly 124 known cannabinoids. You need full spectrum or broad spectrum CBD if you want the benefits of any of the other cannabinoids. There's a strong terpene profile present in both hemp and marijuana, but while we are still trying to figure out exactly how those terpenes might offer benefits, we do believe it's similar to how cannabinoids react with CB receptors. So why doesn't CBD isolate have any terpene advantages? CBD on its own, it's definitely a powerful cannabinoid that can calm you down without getting you high. It's a safe, legal, non-addictive medicine that can treat everything from, it seems like, anxiety to pain to sleep management. However, terpenes are not yet well understood. We only have a rough idea of what each terpene does and how they smell. If you want to use CBD without any other effects, you might consider using CBD isolate. The isolate does not have a smell or taste or anything other than CBD. Some people make edibles using CBD isolate so that it does not affect the taste. 
its tastelessness and its predictable effects, they can be advantages for sure. CBD isolate is also more likely to be legal. Some CBD oils that are advertised as only containing CBD actually contain an amount of THC that goes over 0.3%. This is because the manufacturing process does not remove the THC completely or properly. The THC level has to be very low, below 0.3%, for the oil to be legal federally within the United States. CBD oil also has to be made from hemp rather than marijuana to be legal everywhere. While it's easy to find full spectrum CBD that's made from hemp and below the THC threshold of 0.3%, you have to be more careful with what you're buying. Sometimes the THC level increases back up above that 0.3% level during the manufacturing process. If you wanna be on the safe side, just get a full spectrum CBD oil with a QR code that links to a lab analysis. Full spectrum and broad spectrum CBD are both more effective than isolate. This might have to do with terpenes in addition to the extra cannabinoids. Studies show that while CBD isolate works fine for some people, full spectrum CBD works better for others. Most people should be using full or broad spectrum CBD oil anyway, uh, you're going to miss out on the most effective form of the substance if you stick to an isolate. Even if you are interested in the benefits of CBD and not any particular terpene, you should use either broad or full spectrum CBD. The terpenes and other cannabinoids may boost the effect of the substance. This is widely recognized and known as the entourage effect. Terpenes have effects separate from CBD and other cannabinoids, but they also make cannabinoids more effective. Taking a higher dose of CBD isolate does not always lead to a greater effect. Many people get minor effect at a low dose, while a stronger effect can be felt at a moderate dose. And you can even feel minor effects at a low dose. It's just different for everyone. Taking too much CBD isolate prevents the drug from working. This does not seem to be the case with full or broad spectrum CBD. If you take more full or broad spectrum, you're likely to just increase the effect. If you need a powerful dose of a CBD product, I would stick with full spectrum. Terpenes can give cannabis an odor, taste, and other benefits too. Like many other plants, cannabis gets its smell and taste from its terpenes. There are many different terpenes commonly found in marijuana. Each strain of marijuana has a different blend of terpenes and cannabinoids, and that's just how it is. Terpenes give each strain of cannabis a different smell and taste. A cannabis strain that contains limonene, for example, will have a lemony type of kind of citrusy smell. You can also use terpenes to make dyes. A strain that contains a lot of pinene, for example, will smell like, uh, like a pine forest or the pine needles and linalol gives cannabis a flowery scent. There might even be several different scents in a strain with one or two of them being stronger than the other. As well as giving different strains different scents, terpenes give different strains different health benefits too. A strong terpene profile will bring many different effects, some of which are proven and others which are only widely believed that need to be researched more. Some terpenes may be able to reduce stress, reduce inflammation, relieve nausea, and even relieve pain. These compounds may even be able to treat diabetes or help treat cancer. We just need more research to figure this out. Whether or not terpenes are necessary or enough on their own depends on what health problem you're treating. Sometimes you just need THC. The substance has benefits. It does not only produce a high, it does other things for you as well. Other times you might need CBD or other cannabinoids or maybe even other terpenes to treat your health problems. Not every strain will work as well for every issue. Using full spectrum CBD is a great idea if you want to maximize your health benefits without getting high. Full spectrum CBD contains a variety of different terpenes plus the CBD itself. This is similar with broad spectrum but broad spectrum has less THC. Can terpenes get you high? Absolutely not, 
terpenes do not get you high on their own. However, they might affect your brain. If you're high on THC, terpenes may affect how the high feels. Terpenes do account for the differences between different cannabis strains. One strain might feel different from another strain, even though they contain smaller or larger amounts of THC and CBD. It's the terpene makeup here that really counts. This is because the terpenes can change the experience of the THC high you experience. The major factor contributing to the high that a cannabis plant can bring is THC. Delta 9 and Delta 8 are just two popular forms of it. People who use uh, the cannabis plant recreationally, they probably will choose a strain based on what terpenes it contains rather than how much THC or CBD it contains. You can often predict the effects of a new strain of marijuana, for example, if you know what terpenes it has. The takeaway here is the different cannabis terpenes can offer completely different effects. The terpenes do much more than add to taste or floral aroma. We'll get into this later once we identify a few of the more common cannabis terpenes that exist. You can actually choose the right CBD oil by its terpene profile. For those of us who use CBD medicinally and use little to no THC, often know about terpenes as well. CBD oils advertise what terpenes they contain sometimes. You can pick a great CBD oil based on its terpene profile. The combination of a high enough dose of CBD and the right cannabis terpenes is what treats many people's health problems. Again, we need more research here, but we feel strongly that the terpenes play that much of a vital role. Terpenes with CBD may have great underutilized potential for treating pain. Many people may be able to replace harmful or addictive painkillers with a gentler but still effective CBD products. So what are some of the health benefits of common terpenes you'll find? Let's talk about, uh, let's start with actually beta caryophylline. Since many people take CBD for depression and anxiety, this terpene is one of the most important ones. Studies show that it can help calm you down and even lift your mood. It's also one of the terpenes present in hops, and it gives hops their smell and the taste. This terpene is found in beer brewed with hops, obviously. But does beer made out of hops have a calming effect? I would say it does. It's technically a depressant. Hops have long been assumed to have sedative properties, but without scientific evidence to prove this. Recently, though, research has shown that they do have sedative effects. Drinking non-alcoholic beer containing hops as a sedative effect, so it's not only the alcohol that matters here. Beta-pinene is also a popular terpene, and that's what gives pine needles their refreshing scent. Beta-pinene works as an antidepressant and might even have cancer-fighting powers. Anyone uh, that can persistently notice an unstable mood should try CBD oil that contains pinene within the terpene profile. Prescription antidepressants are not only addictive, but they can be much less effective than some of these terpenes. People are right, they need to try natural treatment sometimes. While people often permanently beat depression by improving their health and wellness, it's not easy for depressed people to improve their lives immediately. People often use medicine to treat their depression first, then improve their life so they can go off of the medication. You should consider trying CBD with pinene if you need something to help make you have the energy to make these lifestyle changes. It's better sometimes than an antidepressant and certainly better than alcohol or harder drugs. Just because CBD is safer than many of the alternatives does not mean it's weaker though. CBD, especially with beta pinene, is quite a powerful antidepressant. There's also evidence that alpha pinene and beta pinene are very potent anti-cancer substances, but again, we need more studies to be conducted in this. There are multiple that show these terpenes can reduce cancer rates, at least in animals. 
more research will be required before doctors begin regularly recommending pinene or CBD tinctures with pinene and its terpene profile to patients. Limonene is another popular one, and it's one of the most common and most uh, aromatic terpenes. It's what gives citrus fruits like lemons uh, and oranges their scent. People use CBD with limonene to treat anxiety. Studies on mice show that it has significant anti-anxiety effects. At best, limonene may also help people beat cancer, according to a few smaller studies. One of the reasons most citrus fruits smell and taste so delicious, well, it's because of terpenes. Many people have heard of myrcene as well. This certain terpene can kill fungus, and it even has great antibacterial properties. These properties and antifungal attributes make it a good treatment for all sorts of illnesses, but we do not yet know a huge amount about it. Hopefully, myrcene could be potent enough to use as a general antibacterial or antifungal medication. But we don't know enough about it yet. Myrcene might also work as a sedative. Many people use CBD to help them sleep. Possibly, a CBD tincture containing myrcene could work as an excellent sleep aid. This is one of the less well-understood terpenes. Experiment with it if you want and see if it works for you. Linalol, this is a fun one. It works well for daytime stress uh, rather than for being a sedative that you would use before going to sleep. While it works as an antidepressant, it also is a good choice for people who are not necessarily depressed but just want to lower their stress levels. Lavender has a ton of this in it, hence the calming smell. It affects the brain uh, through different pathways, which is the same part of the brain that beta-pinene affects. Plants containing linalol or beta-pinene have traditionally been used to treat anxiety or depression in people. Consider trying a CBD tincture containing both linalol and a high dose of CBD to keep your day daytime stress levels down. It may also serve as a great sleep aid. Humulene is one that some people are really not familiar with. While many terpenes calm you down, humulene can energize you. Some strains of marijuana can actually give you some excess energy if you haven't noticed. If you want an energy boost without a high, try CBD with some humulene in it. You might be surprised. So how would you start using terpenes if you're interested? Since we don't know a lot about these substances yet, you may have to experiment with them to see how your body responds best. Many things are assumed about them without being proven. You may have to judge the alleged benefits here of a terpene for yourself. Try it and see if it improves depression, reduces stress, helps with pain or inflammation, gives you energy, or anything else that the terpene is said to do. CBD and terpenes can actually help improve your life if you let them. Antidepressants don't necessarily work very well for most of the people that take them. Often, you can do much better with a natural treatment, including CBD. CBD is great for getting sleep at night and feeling calm during the day. CBD oil also contains many different terpenes, which are an almost miraculous class of substances, given that many, many of the plants need them for their medicinal powers. We do not yet know just how effective terpenes are compared to other treatments. However, more and more research is showing that terpenes have plenty of benefits. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking the like button and subscribing below. It'll help the YouTube, al the YouTube algorithm give it to many other people so they can benefit from the education as well.